Welcome to another video of SketchWow where I reveal to you what new Power Pack features are in version 1.5.11. Uh, now, once you realize what we packed in this new version, you may look like that pretty young lady in the left-hand corner, shock and awe over what we've added. So let's dive right in here. So many of you have been asking for months, can I use my tablet? Can I use my stylus pen with SketchWow? And I'm happy, very happy to report that yes, 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 a thousand times yes, finally, you can use your tablet with the SketchWow software to just really take it to the next level. So that was very exciting. I know many of you have been waiting for that and I'm thrilled to announce it's finally here with version 1.5.11. Uh, moving right along, there's also some other pretty cool features we've managed to sneak in to this latest update. Of course, tablet support, as we just mentioned, which is the star of the show, but a close second is another feature that you've been asking for for probably a couple months now anyway, and that is presentation mode. Uh, yes, I'm using presentation mode right now to actually uh, show you this presentation as we walk through the new features of SketchWow, and I'll show you how we'll do that in another 30 seconds or so. Also, we added more preset sizes. Many of you want more flexibility in terms of different document sizes. If you're creating, you know, graphics for uh, Instagram or Twitter or Pinterest or a presentation, whatever it is, and we'll be adding more preset document sizes as we get more feedback from you, okay? Also, we've added the ability to add links to your presentations like you see right here in front of you. I could add an actual hyperlink and then when I hover over the link, the little mouse pointer returned to the little hand symbol. You've seen that before. Also, many of you are asking if you can add hyperlinks into the PDF documents you export from SketchWow. Once again, I'm happy to report. I'm just the bearer of good news here all around. What a great job. <laughs> anyway, now you can add those links into your PDF documents as well. So when you open up the PDFs, any hyperlinks you've added into your SketchWow documents on the canvas will now be actually clickable in your PDF. Okay, so exciting news, right? I hope you're kind of pumped about these features because again, a lot of these things you've been asking for for a few months and finally we're here to deliver them. So let me just dive into a presentation mode here and I'm gonna exit full screen mode here so you can see that we were using presentation mode in SketchWow and I'll walk you through how I created this little presentation that you see here in front of you, okay? So what I simply did is I just created a series of duplicate slides. I did the old, you know, select all shortcut on your keyboard or you can use, you know, the right click and then select all and I just did a copy and paste and created several different pages utilizing the same slide or the same diagram if you will and then I just added them as each new page progressed. For example, you see here this is page one, uh, page two, that's where we reveal the big wow moment, you know, sketch wow tablet support. Page three, added the cool little animated fire symbol there. Uh, page four on the right side you can see now we're revealing some of the uh, the finer points with presentation mode and preset sizes and last but by no means least those wonderful links that you now have in presentation mode and the PDF. So, and to enter presentation mode, real simple, you go to the view drop down up here, or you can use a keyboard shortcut as you see there, uh, depending on if you're Mac or Windows person. Presentation mode, all right? And then it's gonna give you the option here to scroll using your, um, the controls here with your mouse key. Uh, you can also click fit the content. If your diagram is a bit small, it'll enlarge it to make sure it fills the whole screen so it's looking a little bit better as opposed to being a small little thumbnail. And also you can use your mouse click to advance through the slides or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So a few options for you and then just to escape, you can click the X button here or use the escape key on your keyboard. All right. So that's it so far. I mean, short video, but you got to agree kind of a, a few power packed features, right? So I'm gonna just pause this video, I'm gonna switch to my tablet now, and just kind of give you an idea on how you can use your tablet with SketchWow as well, which I think you'll find is pretty cool. So just give me a second here. All right, so here we are, I've got my tablet fired up here. I'm gonna attempt to record the screen with my phone while I'm writing on the tablet. This should be interesting. Um, please you know, bear with me as my shaky hand tries to navigate over here. So basically what you can do is you can just use your tablet just like you use the native SketchWow app. For example, drawing on the screen here, right? Excuse my handwriting, don't judge me. 
Uh, I should have been a doctor, my mom told me, but anyways. Um, yeah, now you know exactly how I missed my calling. So there's that there. Of course, all the functions you have in SketchWow are available, including creating you know, little boxes, that kind of thing. Um, another shape, connector lines. It's all there. All the functions you expect to find in the desktop app are now available on your tablet utilizing your stylus pen. So I hope you're happy about this new version. Again, it's live right now. It's waiting for you. If you didn't get an email from us, then definitely contact help.sketchwow.com. Um, I'll be back again with another video because believe it or not, we are working on the next version of SketchWow. Call us crazy. It's continuous development. We've got a ton of ideas from you over the past few weeks. We're excited to go to the next level and release a new version. In the meantime, because we know that email is unreliable and who knows if you're going to get notifications on Facebook or Instagram. So make sure you hit the bell, notification bell, subscribe and like this video. So at least the good folks at YouTube will hopefully make sure you have an announcement the minute we release a new version or any new content on the SketchRaw YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day and we'll be back again real soon.